Goal setting and growth mindset. How the goals you choose define you. If you have a fear of failure and therefore doesn't dare to set goals, then you definitely keep watching and stay tuned. This is totally for you. I am Carolina Sherman and welcome to my channel where I share videos to help you and other online business owners to speed process your growth by doing the internal work first. Every week I shine a light on an inspirational or motivational business quote and give you my take on the matter. This week we have a quote from Zig Ziglar. He was an American author, salesman and motivational speaker. He died in 2012. One line of his most empowering words were What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. I love this quote. Just last week in our mastermind group around the law of attraction, we were talking about this topic. Someone in the mastermind asked how we felt about goal setting and deadlines. Because when you look at the law of attraction and all the success books out there, there's a lot of contradiction around this topic. Some say that you need to put a deadline on your desire and say, I want to manifest $10,000 by 18th of July, for example. And then you need to believe in your deadline and it has more power. But then via other sources you hear that the feeling of urgency and a deadline will mess up with your vibration and your attraction process. So what about deadlines? I would love to know your insight on this topic as well. Please let me know in the comments down below and then we can talk about this and we can chat in the comments. I love to discuss this topic. Let me give you my view on this as well. So in the mastermind, my answer was, as always, it depends. <laughs> An answer or an advice is never black and white because it always depends on the person who is responding to it. So if a deadline or a certain goal gives you the feeling of motivation and a powerful good vibration that makes you flow and inspired action and enthusiasm, then by all means the goal or the deadline does you good. But however, if setting a deadline or a goal where you secretly have a problem to believe that it's possible, then it will do you more harm than good. Because one of the most powerful steps or tools in the law of attraction and manifesting or achieving your desires is your power to believe that it is possible. And if you don't believe that it is possible, you will feel uncomfortable. The more you approach your deadline or stay away from your goal, you will feel urgency and a lack of time and you will experience anxiety and feelings of unworthiness and not good enough and I can't do it. So you can see how this brings you a lot further from your manifestation, you know? Because manifesting your desires only happens when you are in a good vibration or a good mood or of positive expectancy. But can you also see that everything depends on how you look at your goals and deadlines? It's all about perception and how you deal with it and which meaning you attach to the goals or the deadlines. So it's all in your control or your power. My mentor, Wedmore, taught me this new perspective that changed me and it will change you too. What if you were to look at goals as an indicator of which level you are going to participate in the game? What if the goal you set is not a measurement of your success or failure, but what if it's just an indicator of what level you are going to play, if you're going all in or not? He gave the metaphor of tennis. Let's say that you want to play tennis, but if your goal is that you want to participate in the Grand Slam tournament, then your game plan to get to your goal will be totally different than when you were to decide to play a match of tennis with your 12-year-old niece. The preparation that goes into playing with your 12-year-old niece will only be that you will need to make sure that you have called a tennis club to reserve a court to play, you know? <laughs> and your game plan for the Grand Slam and the preparation that will get into getting ready for the Grand Slam will be a total different caliber, you know, to, to tackle. And the difference between playing a game with your niece and participating in the Grand Slam will be that you might win against your niece, but you 
won't have grown so much in the process and that for a Grand Slam you probably didn't win but you will have grown so much because of all of the trainings and the tactics that you discussed and the failures you had that brought you new insights on your game. You know, mindset wise and skill wise, you will have grown tremendously. So that's the difference. And that's where we say partaking is more important than winning. That's where we say the quote of Zig Ziglar, what you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Setting a deadline or a goal is not a measurement of success or failure. It's only an indicator of the kind of game you are going to play to get there. Do you go all in or, or, or just a little? Because it would be very silly of us to assign success or failure to a goal. You mean you set a goal and when you don't get it, you feel like a failure and when you get it you might feel as if you didn't set your goal or your bar high enough if you look at it this way you will always lose so why not look at it from a perspective where you always win you grow you become a totally new person because of all the growth you've been going through Listen, if you feel that you owe it to yourself to give yourself all the tools that you need to grow to the highest level of your potential, and that is of course unlimited, then make your mark by subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell to get notified about the new videos and I will guide you to speed process your growth. Don't forget to like this video if you found this inspirational or interesting at all and leave a comment so that we can connect. See you in another video. Keep watching.